What's up everybody and welcome to the Dojo of Damien where we make champions. Now today's video is uh, a special request by uh, my friend Birdman. I'll leave his link in the description below. But today we're going to be talking about key stunning and key canceling, the difference between the two, and just basically how I feel about it. Alright guys, before we actually dig too deep into this video, just to let you know, if you're new to the channel, the OG Birdman doesn't actually play like this. If you're interested in seeing how he actually plays, I left his uh, link in the description below, like I said previously, or you could just check out some of my uh, previous videos of the OG Birdman and you can see how he plays from there. But to get right into things, a key stun. A key stun is... Basically, it's just a way to halt your opponent and the way that it's used people use it the wrong way in my eyes at least it's not used the correct way most of the time people who key blast stun they use it in a way to where they'll shoot a key blast and then they'll rush at you and the whole point is for them to stun you so that you can't move and they're able to get a free hit off you and to be honest that's kind of broken solely because of the fact that most of the time when people key blast stun you can knock the key blast back if you notice it quick enough but most of the time, people are moving side to side when they shoot the key blast, so they're not gonna get hit from that key blast. Normally, with any move in the game, it's a high risk, high rewards type deal, and with the key blast stun, it's just it's a low risk, high reward. You're not really gonna get shitted on for doing a key stun, especially since it's really hard to perfect block key blast on here now. Just a single key blast, it's almost impossible to do it. So it's low low risk high reward and people do it way too often and it's deemed cancerous now and I agree I definitely agree with that but it does have its role in the game and that's the same thing actually goes for unvanishable guard breaking and here's an example I'm going to give you say that you're going into a ranked match and you and we've all gone against the super saiyan god goku and the black gokus the ones that will wait for you to attack and once you actually come at them to attack they will backpedal you and then they'll charge at you with the X and with Goku's X's being so quick they're gonna get that hit okay and if their whole thing is to wait for you to attack the whole fight I mean if you want to halt your opponent key blast none of them before that happens and in that sense I think it's okay it's only if they're yielding you the whole fight if you could tell that this is what they're going to be doing the whole fight you can obviously tell when a match starts about 30 seconds in how somebody's going to be playing you the whole fight okay and those in that instance an unvanishable guard break and a key blast stun hey i don't down you for it do what you got to do because to me those fights are boring i don't care if i win or lose you can beat my ass all you want bro let me just have a good fight don't Play me like an asshole, okay? Don't use the game mechanics in itself that you know are broken in order to get your win. If that's the case, you know, you could do the same thing right back at him. Um, so basically that's how I feel about the key stunning. Like I said, it, it, it's situational. You can't use it 24-7, but it has its role in the game. But most people, 99.9% .9 of the people that use it, use it the broken way just to get a quick hit and I think that that's just lame in my opinion now a key blast cancel which um, which you don't actually see too much in this video you mostly see key stuns but a key blast cancel say you do a full X string combo and instead of that tele and instead of that person teleporting that last hit they actually take the hit and you're actually stuck in that animation for a second to whatever move it was rather it be a punch kick whatever your race does and you're stuck there for a second now there's multiple ways to get out of that you can after image you can backflip you can use a key move you can use a strike move you can use your evasive if you really wanted to hell something you can press a to teleport to continue the combo if you really wanted to okay there are multiple ways to get out of it but most people go the route of pressing B to key cancel out of that so then they can go right back into an attack without wasting stamina which is I mean it in some forms of the way it's okay to do but I wouldn't do it all the time anything done all the time after every combo that you do it's gonna be deemed cancerous that's the whole thing you there are multiple ways to do what you want to do you can't just focus on one way to do it and key canceling out of every animation does not make you a legit player in my eyes okay there are multiple ways to get around anything i use 
every race. The only race I haven't made so far is Mel Majin, and I can tell you this now that a key cancel is not necessary. It's useful, but it's not necessary, and the same thing goes for a key stun. You just have to really learn your player combos, your race's combos, and learn when to use each combo because they're supposed to be used in a certain manner. You can't treat every race like they're the same. Whatever your main is, you can't treat every other race like they're your main race they're completely different and you can't use a key stun to go around getting around that because certain races i'll say like a namekian people say oh namekians need a key cancel they necessarily don't need a key cancel because of how much damage they do for one they do a shit ton of damage for no reason for one and most of their hits when you teleport you're still gonna get hit by it they got that little arm fling thing that they do you teleport behind them and you get caught if you teleport at the wrong time that's just how Namekian works so they don't necessarily need it but yeah not trying to dig on Namekians but that's basically how I feel about it all right thanks for watching you guys uh this was just a basic sum up of how I feel if you want more of a detailed video hit me up in the comment section below and I'll be happy to make another one but until then peace Thank you.